Have you ever thought about quantum physics or the space-time continuum, better known as time travel? And if you could travel anywhere in time, where would it be? This is Scott Barnes TV and I'm your host, Scott Barnes. Just don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know exactly where you'd like to be if you could travel anywhere in the world. Come with me down the rabbit hole to the year 1909 when Selfridges had its first makeup counter ever. Imagine that, first makeup counter ever. And Edwardian beauty was all the rage. Come with me. All right, you guys, we finally made it to the year 1909. And I'm here with Lady Lankin. Lakin, excuse me, Lady Lakin. <laughs> I said the N again, didn't I? Okay. Lankin. So let's talk about beauty. It's 1909, it's Edwardian times, right? This is the Edwardian era. And where does Edwardian come from? I don't know, do King, you know? King Edward. Oh, So it was like, cool. it was really cool to, yeah. you know, Go down the be a Gibson girl, hence yeah. your hair. It was not very popular to wear makeup or to be seen actually wearing makeup. Only prostitutes <laughs> and actresses wore makeup. Zipping my lip, throwing away the key. I did a little bit of history, uh, searching and digging, and to find out exactly what was the beauty regimen of the day. So the beauty regimen of the day was to use a lot of moisturizer, Vaseline, witch hazel, a lead-based foundation, which was probably not the best thing for you. They didn't really have lipstick. Lipstick didn't come around until 1920. I'm gonna try to do this and replicate this, but use modern day products, obviously. We should probably start with what everybody kept saying. Like the big thing was about the massage. It was all about the neck massage, the eyelid massage, cheek massage. I don't know what that was doing for anybody, but I think they said it made your cheeks fuller. Really great toner. You see, it's a rose toner. See, look, 1847, it was there around for a while. It's very nice. I'm gonna put this a little bit on a cotton round. Does it smell good? It smells amazing. Girls like rose scent. Yeah. They really do. Yeah, I love it. Your lips look good. They look nice and Thank you. exfoliated. Did you exfoliate them? I did. They look great. Thank you. Another little helpful hint was that being blonde was not the thing. Like having blonde hair was not desirable. You had to be, you know, chestnut to medium to dark hair. That was like the desired look with the pale skin. I'm gonna use Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And because they keep saying pale, pale, pale was the whole thing, I'm gonna use the Face Atelier uh, Ultra Foundation Pro. This one's just like white, I guess. It's zero, so that means it's just void of color. Just really white, very fair. Yeah, just being able to like and just thinning it out a bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you were an Instagrammer in 1909, oh, wow. what would that be like? It would be very different. Well, I mean, would you be considered an actress or what? <laughs> what, what category? <laughs> what category would you be in? Would you fall under? The goal here was to really make the skin look like it was alive. Mm -hmm. Um, but as pale as possible. Yeah. They loved powder. Powder was a thing. Talcum powder too, which we know now is very harmful for your um, body. It seems like some of these elements that are present are really focused on youth. Like it was a very youth-centric aesthetic. I, I agree. This smells really good. It's Armani. Let's use Jeffree Star. Let's do it. All right, Jeffree Star I'm Concealer. Excited. Let's try it. It's got a great consistency. It's got good coverage, but it's not too heavy. I'm just gonna give it a little bit right there. A little bit under your nose, a little bit under your chin, a little bit over the eyebrows. I'm just using this as a highlighter. And this was... Um, this is number C3. It's a C3. Yeah. Even with the glasses on, I can see it. Oh my <laughs> God. Do you feel like Mary Poppins? I do a little bit. I'm just throwing a little bit more foundation on another little nice layer, and I'm just gonna blend it out really softly gently. With this, I like a little bit of stippling and a little less of the dragging, you know what I mean? Because it just gives it a little bit more of a luminosity to that foundation. Let me just do a little bit on the lid here. I just want to make sure she's not going too, like, 
scary retro. <laughs> This is Bedelium Tools, and this is 948. It's a foundation. I call it a little paw. All right, so you know what's really crazy? Is they mixed benzoin in with their moisturizer. I wonder how that mixed with your foundation. It was probably foaming. I feel like that, yeah, I was thinking that. I feel like it's like kind of frothy. And... Was it explosive? <laughs> There's a lot of chemical reactions going on back yeah. in 1909. Yeah, well, there was no plumbing, so. <laughs> I mean, unless you were really wealthy, but there wasn't a whole lot of plumbing, right? Yeah. So um, you washed your hair, what, every three weeks? Vaseline was your friend. This is quite pretty. It's nice, it's nice. What do you think? Like a garden rose. Okay, so, <laughs> little quiz. Okay. Do you know anything about what else was going on that time period? 1909. I feel like I was reading. You were reading, you were yeah. sewing, I was, you okay. were needlepoint. Needlepoint was big. Nice. So rice powder was really like a big thing, mm. right? And it really made the skin look like it was white. Does rice powder have a similar matting effect? Yeah, that, it's really dry. Yeah. And I think that's probably why everybody liked it because imagine you didn't really take like a shower for- Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, if you're not showering, if you're not- You're pretty oily. Washing. And plus you're putting moisturizer on. Vaseline. I have it. Yeah, God, I can't live without it. Really pretty. Could you imagine? I would really have like a hard time. There was no lashes back then. Mm. <laughs> I would be eyeballed. Yeah, just like a little yeah. bit of, little, little, little. Well, you know, they did have mascara and it was made out of coal. Mm. And guess what? Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was important. You know me, I love blush. What was in blush? Red carmine. We all know that that's, you can't put that on your skin. Like it's really toxic and they stopped using it years ago and they stopped using it in lipsticks. Um, also geranium and hmm. poppy. So it was like, I think the colors of the time were really red. They were really kind of pinky, pinky bright. This kind of like real pinkiness, right? So I, that's where I'm gonna go with this, but we don't wanna use a lot of it because we wanna use it very gently. So I'm gonna go with that pinky color first. And anytime you're trying to make something look softer, you just kind of load your brush with it and then maybe tap it out on your own hand. And then go gently at the cheek, right? You don't want to be like, ur, ur, ur. and I would imagine that like making the skin look a little bit more flushed right in the front was probably better than going up into here. That didn't really happen until uh, later. And there wasn't a lot of eyeshadow either. It was very like minimal on the eyeshadow situation, you know? They didn't really have eyeshadow. So it was really a thing about like, let less is more. Not anybody being able to spook the fact that you had makeup on, which you look like you have makeup on. But <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the lips had to mirror the same thing. I'm gonna try to do a version of that. Okay. I'm gonna use my lip gloss for this and it's called Look At Me and it's a matte, but I'm not gonna use it like how, you know, we would use makeup today, you know? I'm gonna go dot, 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 like that. And really just kind of like, use it as a stain so that your lips look like they're flushed. And you know, it was always a sign of sexuality when your lips were flushed. They used, guess what? Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> How did I miss that one? <laughs> I know. Well, it's also because there wasn't nail polish, so Vaseline was an important oh, thing on your nails, too, because it gave it a shine. So oh, that's interesting. Yeah, just a big old tub of Vaseline. I think it just covered all your beauty needs. You know, not everything that you purchase needs to be just, like, smeared on. And sometimes you just need the undertone to be able to do that. That's pretty, right? Oh, you're looking more like a Gibson girl every minute. So flattering. So this is a great lip for it's beautiful. what we're doing, right? It's perfect too, because with the pigmentation, it's kind of a nice cross between that, that pink and that red together. Yeah, Super she's beautiful. a little bit of both, so mm -hmm. it gives it that little bit of fire. Now, let's do it. Let's 
Let's Time go. to shine. <laughs> it's her moment. <laughs> like you could do nails, you could do hair, you could do makeup. I mean, like literally, you put this wow. in your hair. All right, we're gonna just use a little bit. I mean, Vaseline doesn't feel terrible. No. It feels good, right? Yeah. Well, what's great about the liquid matte lipstick is mm -hmm. that it stays put. Sure. And then when you put a little bit of clear gloss or any kind of topper on it, it's great. Let's talk about brows for Let's a second. Let's talk about them. Brows were very important. Okay. So you would burn a matchstick and then you would use the soot from it to the create. The like the ash, mm -hmm. okay. But um, I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to use a brow. Okay. But the brow was very important. It was supposed to look like the wing of a swallow. The bird. The bird. We're going to look at what a swallow would be. The brow was very prominent and it was long. It was a long brow and you weren't to pluck. You, the only way to like handle this was electrolysis, which I thought was mm. interesting that they had electrolysis That's in 19, what, yeah. 1909. So let's just remove the hair permanently so it never ever grows back. Yeah. <laughs> Electrically. <laughs> Electrically, because it's the answer. So a little strong brow. Ba-boom. Sculpt and contour kit to do this with. So, and I'm using Snatched and Sculpt. It was very simple makeup. And there's an art to making makeup look like there's no makeup on. Like when I do films and stuff, it's really hard because I'm used to doing like full blown Mamma Jamma Glamma. Yeah, the true art is having all those elements incorporated, but never really having one that's overpowering. Yeah, you can't go overboard. Yeah. You gotta keep it simple, you know? Pretty. Just giving it a little bit of rosiness. I feel like I need a teaspoon of sugar. Make medicine go down? <laughs> could, something feels like it's happening. Just a teaspoon of sugar <laughs> helps the medicine, medicine go down. down. It's such a delightful word. So in order to keep your hair and your hat on, we could yes. use some Gorilla Glue. And oh somebody's going to say, no, <laughs> Gorilla Glue didn't exist in 1909. I'm here to tell you that it was servicing the greater Colorado area since 1909. That's amazing. Gorilla That's Glue. That's amazing. I'm going to use this natural palette, number one. I want to keep this, the eyeshadow is super simple. I'm gonna use Nightcap. I just want a little bit of Dramaticals. Not a ton. That's a ton. Can't help myself, that's what the problem is. Well, we can just smooth this out a bit. You know what I mean? Oh, she's pretty. It's giving us what we need. And it looks like it has Vaseline in it. Oh, wow. Without the Vaseline. Without oh. the creasy crusties. Gosh. Do you ever put Vaseline on your lids? I don't do it on my lids. I do it on my lips sometimes before I go to sleep at night. And I used to also use it in like socks or gloves okay. and go to bed. And it makes your hands and your feet super soft. Like I remember all the women in my, my family used to be into like cold cream and... Yeah. And like I remember my, my great grandmother was into cold cream. Was she? Mm-hmm. She would have like ponds and olive oil. I'm just gonna go underneath. I'm just gonna drop it down just a little bit so that we get a little bit of that roundness going. So do you know who the like most photographed woman was? I do not. Lily Elise. Lily Elise. Yeah. She was very pretty. Just wanted to make this like kind of not perfect, but perfect at the same time. Pretty. And it's really making the eyes look a little bit more like rounded, you know? It's pretty. What do you think? I love it. Let's put a little bit of the silver screen on too, just to Ooh. warm it a little bit. You gotta treat this almost like you're doing a watercolor. It's like, you don't want it, there's nothing that's heavy. You look very, very Edwardian. Thank you. You are the quintessential Gibson girl. Oh. Was there a reason you chose 1909? Lily Elise. Let's talk about mascara. Let's talk about it. W where are you getting it from? I have no clue. You're Maybe the pharmacy? No. The local pharmacy, drugstore? No, you're making it. Yeah, oh. that's right, you're making it. You know what you need? Vaseline, <laughs> Of obviously. course, and you need some coal. 
Yeah, like, you know, people were burning coal in their house. Coal? Coal. Around your eyes? Well, yeah. Wow, okay. You'd make a little paste out of it and then put it on with a brush. I'm not gonna do that because it sounds <laughs> gross. Um, so I'm gonna take a, a brush. Humane. I'm gonna use some pumped up mascara. All right, I'm gonna paint the bottom first. We don't want them clumpy. I'm barely touching them. Almost like it tickles, right? Yeah. You're super light-handed. It's pretty. Yeah, let me do the tops now. Really nice. Look towards here so you don't see me coming at you. Just want to get those inner lashes. Very pretty. I just want to make it just a little bit stronger on the bottom. So I think this is a pretty good representation of the look at this time. I'm gonna use Sugar Rush and Pink Crush and just kind of just dab it in there just a little bit. So not only does she look flush, but she looks a little Radiant. <laughs> we like radiance. We love radiance. Yeah. Dewy, fresh, beautiful skin. Mm hmm And there it is. That, my friend, is how you do Edwardian makeup from 1909. <laughs> Based off of my research. And I feel like Amazing. we're ready for our scene now. We're ready for our close-up. Yeah.